this is the second time trying this video mainly because uh, I press circle instead of X to kind of uh, finish recording anyway Welcome to a new series, uh, this is called Kaiju Battles, uh, we'll be doing this every Friday and we'll be uh, pitting monsters against monsters, monsters, seeing how well they do in battle against them. Today we are doing Godzilla Earth versus Clover, the giant Clover from the Cloverfield Paradox. Um, so first we'll quickly get into this. We'll go into Godzilla's height. Uh, basically, in fact, let's just go over an overview. Basically, what we will be doing is going over um, how power, uh, well, the strengths, the weaknesses, um, the origins, uh, the height, and intelligence. Um so first we'll start with Godzilla. His height is um seeing as this one's Godzilla Earth, his height is three hundred meters. That is just short of the top of the Empire State Building. I believe he's a tiny bit bigger than the Chrysler building. Um now um He's 300 meters compared to the 50 meters uh, Godzilla Phileas. And they both appeared in the film, not Clovio. Uh, they both appeared in the film um, Godzilla Planet of the Monsters. This came out at the end of 2017 for Japan and uh, January 17th, uh, 2018 for America and the rest of the world on Netflix. Um, now, with his height, you'd expect him to, you know, dwarf Clover, as, you know, we've only ever seen him in full in 2008, where he was 90, uh, 90 meters tall. Um, and... Uh, yeah, we'll just move on to Godzilla Earth's strengths, shall we? Um, his strengths are... He has his atomic breath, which can reach temperatures up to one... Uh, what is it? It's 1.2 million degrees Celsius, I believe. Um... And his uh, in the film anime goji, um, he also possesses um, kind of a when he wafts his tail, he sends a sonic like it breaks the sound barrier and it sends a sonic wave towards the direction he's facing, creating mass destruction. And he also possesses a similar ability like a sonic roar um, which kind of um, which will also once again destroy everything in its path and cause mass destruction in a very small uh, space but it will cause major destruction to a place or a building now this would probably stun a monster you know, meaning Godzilla can go in for a punch, except this Godzilla is extremely, extremely slow. And that is where the weaknesses come in. He is... God's... Um, he is so slow. Uh, except he covers ground really quickly and he moves fast in water. Um, for his... Other weakness... He possesses a asymmetrical shield, which also possesses, or well, also acts as a uh, strength as well. Because 
it kind of it, it's hard to explain but it's an asymmetrical shield the disadvantage comes in when you know we go on about that his shield also lowers and drops which is obviously bad meaning monsters can like hurt him as such and deal uh, severe damage um, now uh, for his origins it is quite unknown but we believe he is plant based a uh, plant like uh, nuclear thing um, and is actually related to Biolante in this one not that he didn't in the high side but like more related probably because he's made from a plant um, and he appeared uh, at 50 meters destroying every single monster in sight he destroyed like Mechagodzilla base uh, so very very quickly um, now we shall move on to the very mysterious Cloverfield sorry my nose is annoying um, now Clover uh, we do not know the exact height of this monster, but, but we believe he is about, he just stands above, like his head is just above the stratosphere. Either that, or say he's on the top of a mountain. Say for example Everest, but then again, I don't, I believe that might be under the stratosphere. Because you've got strato volcano as well. Um, and well, they, um, we do. Yeah, that's it. Really, it for the height. We don't really know what it is, but he could either be as small as the baby, which was ninety meters. Yes, the baby was ninety meters. That means think of a juvenile. A juvenile is about four or five feet for a human or a teenager so then you'd uh, you'd kind of like times 90 by god what knows what and you get the exact height of what uh, Cloverfield is um, <clears throat> now let's go into his strengths his very 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 long arms if he is such a height he can stride across continents not literally but I mean he can travel really quickly and get to places very very fast he can destroy cities in a swipe uh, and he would be majorly powerful um, he has very his very long arms can also act as like picking up Godzilla and like crushing him he can also pick him up and eat him um <coughs> now um for weaknesses the baby was damaged by missiles and a nuke severely damaged but the baby survived uh and then that means something um so uh, also another advantage for Cloverfield is his uh, uh, is his speed <coughs> uh intelligence Godzilla is very very hyper intelligent and self aware he knows when something is going on we don't know about Cloverfield we know he's probably intelligent but not as intelligent as Godzilla he doesn't have problem solving like intelligence so that's a disadvantage it was an advantage um so now we put him in the scenario of who wins 
uh, three hundred meter Godzilla or Stratosphere Tall uh, Cloverfield. I'm going to say Godzilla, and you want to know why? Because of Godzilla's atomic breath. It's hot enough, and it will. It's going to pierce through the Cloverfield's skin, as such. Another thing is the other side. Uh, Clawfield can pick him up, eat him, or squish him, which would also not be a good thing. So yeah. Anyway, I choose Godzilla. What do you choose? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, uh, and leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you all next week for another episode of Kaiju Battles. See you next time, guys.